Hi, I'm Joel Bargenbrook, president and founder of JS Financial, and I want to tell you the story about why I do what I do. I have to rewind all the way back to my college days. It was January of 2007. It was the last semester of my senior year of college at the University of Nebraska. That was when I made the decision to get into the financial services industry. At that time, I was actually dead set on graduating that spring with my degrees in finance and mathematics, and then heading to law school to become an attorney that fall. But before I did that, I decided I need to fully explore my finance degree before making that commitment. So I found an internship. It was with a large Fortune 100 career company, uh, one of the big ones whose commercials you'd probably see if you were watching college football or other sports on a Saturday afternoon. In this internship, my job was to make new client relationships and sell life and health insurance products. And I was very happy about my job. I, I can't tell you how excited I was to be doing something impactful and really helping people on a day-to-day -day basis. What was really cool about this internship opportunity was that they hosted an open house for the parents of all the interns. So my hometown, it's the little town of Scribner, Nebraska, population under a thousand. And I, I was so excited for my parents to come down from that little town, make the hour and a half trek down to visit me in Lincoln and see that open house. I was even more excited for my parents to be so proud of me and what I was doing with my life at the end of that evening. So we go through the presentation, we get to the end of it. Uh, there's coffee, cookies, socialization, and then ultimately it, it concludes. Uh, at that point, I go to walk my parents down to their car, you know, and I'm gonna send them back on their way home. And I tell you what, I was expecting hugs, high fives, and attaboys. Uh, I was excited for this. But I have to tell you, what shocked me was that when we got down to that car, my mom started crying. She actually started crying right there. She turned around very upset and said to me, Joel, I can't believe it. I thought we raised you better than this. Now you're one of those snake in the grass, insurance agent, stockbroker, salesman, and I just thought we did a better job than that. I thought you'd choose a better career than this. And, and she was just that animated. I, I, could, I could just sense the emotion that she had. As you can imagine, this rocked me to my core. I, I was not expecting this at all. So. After recovering from that initial shock in that moment, I said, Mom, whoa, 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 wait, hold on. I didn't choose this career to be deceitful or dishonest to others and for that to be my own financial gain. That's not why I chose this. Don't get me wrong, there are some bad apples in this industry out there positioning themselves as financial advisors. But that's exactly why I chose this profession. I want to make a difference in people's lives. I want to prove that you can help people with their money and their important financial decisions in life and that you can do all of that the right way. I want to prove that there are good people in this industry, people who put their clients' interests ahead of their own. I, I want to be the financial advisor that proves you can truly help people and at the same time be very, very successful. After that, mom and I had a hug. I, I shook my dad's hand. Uh, Mom smiled a big smile at me as they drove away. That was really all I needed. Um, there wasn't really anything else to say at that point. Uh, I just knew she believed what I had just committed to. And I knew it. Uh, it was time for a lifetime of action to keep that commitment. I'll, I'll never forget that moment with my parents in that parking lot. I made a promise to myself that very day to always work to make my mother proud. It changed the trajectory of not only my life, but my career as well. And it's the defining reason why I'm still here today doing what I do, working as one of the top fiduciary financial advisors in the country. After that night, I went on to work for that large career company for about three years. And then at that point, I decided to strike out on my own. That's when I started JS Financial in 2010. The J in JS Financial stands for Joel, me. And the S, I'm very fortunate, it stands for my wife, Stacy. Uh, Stacy is not only my partner in life, but she's my partner in business. Uh, we run that company together under the premise that if we do the right thing by everyone we meet, the positive impact we have on our clients, our friends, and our family will only continue to grow and compound just as it has for the past decade plus. Not a day goes by that I don't think about that promise to my mom. It still means as much to me today as it did back in 2007. It impacts every financial recommendation that I make. The commitment to make my mom proud by always putting others above myself, 
That's why JS Financial exists. We seek to better the lives of our clients every day.